Okay, so today we're going to do a little bit of a degreaser challenge. What I've got here is I've got a plate off the back of my small block four that I'm doing, which is nice and greasy through 25 years of service. And I've got two commercial degreasers. One is the Gunk Engine Foamy Degreaser, and this is about $4 a can. And then I've got a gallon of concentrated degreaser from Harbor Freight. Now this is about $8 per gallon, and you're gonna mix this on a 20 to one ratio. So 20 parts water to one part degreaser. And I'm gonna spray this half and half. So on this side, I'm gonna use the gunk. On this side, I'm gonna use the Harbor Freight piece. And what I really wanna know is what is the better value? How much effort do I have to put in to get the same results? Is concentrated better than this foamy or is this the stuff to go with no matter the value and the cost of this okay so now both of these say don't leave it on metal longer than 15 minutes especially paint because it will start to eat the paint off now granted it's sitting in the sun so I know it's gonna dry quickly so I'm gonna give this about five to eight minutes of just letting it sit soak and then I'm gonna spray it off with water and I want to see what is gonna be the better initially value based on four bucks a can versus eight dollars a gallon to see what it's going to do without touching it okay so at the five minute mark let's see what we got here Okay, so after five minutes, you can kind of see this side with the gunk looks like it's gotten a little cleaner, at least up through here, it's cleaner compared to here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this now dry so I can get back to kind of my initial state. And then I'm gonna redo them and then scrub them with a green Brillo pad, basically a Scotch-Brite pad, and see how it does there. Okay, so I let the piece dry sprayed it with the gunk, let it sit for a minute or two, and then started scrubbing with this green here. And it's just a green Scotch-Brite. It's the heavy duty, but nothing crazy. So you can see that came out pretty nice. Just takes a little bit of elbow grease to get it degreased. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the Harbor Freight liquid to see if it will come out the same or better. Okay, so here's the finished product between the gunk and the Harbor Freight. So really on each with just using a scrub pad, I think both come out really honestly the same. The thing I like about the gunk more than the Harbor Freight is that it's foamy and it does stay where you put it pretty much once you get a good coating on there. So if you're using a vertical surface, maybe like an engine or a wall or something like that, this may be the better choice because it's gonna stay or most likely stay where you put it. But the Harbor Freight, based on volume itself, you can't beat it. Look at the size volume alone and you figure you're going to get 20 times more of this because of the ratio out of it. Now I've also got a separate bottle that I've done a uh, 20 to 3 ratio basically. Or I've put three times the number of de degreaser in there in a bottle. And really it doesn't give me a lot more. It gives me a little bit more degreasing power but not a lot. I still have to use something extra like a scraper and then a green uh, scotch bright to do that so the value is really up to you what you think is going to be better for you if it's a horizontal surface i like this stuff and you're going to take a little bit more volume to do it but i think for your dollar it's a better value vertical the gunk i think definitely wins on that one so it's really up to you there's a heavier duty version of this that you can go with you can just follow on the can or that which do you choose i'd like to know